I'm not even sure why he's holding back at this point, maybe. I'm not even sure why he's not just gonna go finish off Boxer right now. Um, I have to say, I, I can't I can't think of a mistake that Boxer made this game. Um, yeah, I mean, Boxer, maybe his Wraith Rush, well, can you really count his Wraith Rush as unsuccessful? Because he did kill a crap load of Pro with that Wraith Rush. I mean, and here you see Boxer's first person view, and here you see his face. He, know, he knows it's over. He knows there's nothing he can do. And he has a couple of Goliaths that, uh, he, there's really nothing he can do at this point in this game. I mean, I wouldn't say he's out of it yet, but the, there's very little he can do to come back in this game. He's uh, dropping Goliaths out of his base, and he saw that Corsair. And there's, I mean, those care. As soon as those Pusan gets bored with whatever he's doing, he's just gonna go rape Boxer with those carriers, and there's nothing Boxer can do about it. Like literally nothing he can do about it. And um, uh, actually, that actually I may have spoken to him. That is a lot of Goliaths, guys. That is a lot of Goliaths. So Boxer actually may have quite a chance if he can pull out some. Boxer may actually have a chance, but oh, Pusan has avoided. Oh man, Pusan has gone, has uh, evaded Boxer's Goliath force, and he's going to rip apart Boxer's main. But those Goliaths are there. Um, they're going to drive back those carriers onto the water where they can be microed and owned. Um, so, but if uh, Boxer can do some significant damage to uh, 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 what's his, uh, Pusan's carrier force here. That he can do a lot of damage right now. If he if he can kill like five or six of those carriers, no matter how much the Goliath cost is, he he can just win. And uh, he's trying to drop there, but Pusan anticipating that drop has put cannons down all of his bases, anticipating Boxer's dropship tech. And uh, he's con Boxer seems content just to pick off interceptors at this point. And uh, this expansion, Pusan's gonna go down. Surpri I'm surprised. Uh, but Boxer's only leaving two uh, uh, Goliaths there, so that may not finish the job. Um, maybe he should have left the other two there, but right now he needs every Goliath he has to fight these carriers. And uh, and there we go again. Boxer Boxer's using hold position on those Goliaths and targeting those interceptors, killing off interceptors, just trying to win like that. And um, and that Nexus go the Nexus is dead. The Nexus is dead. He be dead. And um, <laughs> yeah, poor Nexus. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Pusan's Templar being lazy, storming one Dragoon, I mean, one Zell, I keep calling them Dragoons, storming, oh, and look, there's Dragoons, see, I'm smart, uh, storming one Goliath there, <laughs> that Zell, and the stupid, stupid Templar, how did you ever graduate from Templar school, where'd you ever learn to storm, noob, that Templar is a noob, <laughs> okay, sorry, uh, as you can see, I'm not funny at all, um, uh, <laughs> and good micro there by Pusan pulling that carrier away and making that Goliath follow and therefore get raped. Uh, and uh, Bobster, I don't think he's done anything that science fest, so maybe that's just for OBS or DTs or something, but I guess he was just anticipating some kind of DT gay thing. And the Boxer's moving out, and this could be terrible for Boxer if he moves out. He's moving out those Goliaths, but he, need to pull them, he needs to pull them back because there are no Goliaths here to take care of this carrier force. and. Boxer is pulling those Goliaths back, but he's gonna suffer some considerable SCV damage here. And he's not moving those SCVs away. Those SCVs are still mining those minerals, and he's gonna kill. Uh, Pusan's gonna kill SCVs, and that that is that expansion. If he loses expansion, it's over because that is last. That is Boxer's last mining expansion, and Boxer's using hold position again. But this time, I don't think it's gonna be enough. And Pusan has a lot. Holy crap! That's like 20 cannons at his base. Holy crap! Anticipate and oh, storms all over the place. Pusan just stormed his own probes. Pusan has noob Templar. Pusan's Templars are noobs. And, uh, but it did the job, you know. Who cares if you storm your own probes? He can make like 50 in like 2 seconds. Because he has like 50 Nexuses. And, uh, so, like, who the heck cares about storming your own probes? Like, who gives a heck? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm out of it today. Um, anyway. 
Uh, yeah, so Boxer is a bunch of factories, but I don't think he even produce anything. He barely has any mer- he has like, four or five SCVs plus a couple in his expansion, maybe. Uh, plus a couple in his dropship, maybe. That's what, I, that's what it looks like he was doing. And, uh, uh, Boxer... Boxer has glides on the ground, and that's the only thing that's stopping him from getting- from calling it GG right now. He's flowing that command center trying to find a place to land and uh, try to build another expansion. But even if he does, Pusan still has one, two, three, excuse me, one, two, three expansions. Except I think it's main's mass, so technically he only has like two. And um, so I guess Boxer's not that badly off. I mean, but still, I mean, it's not good either, so. Uh, yeah, uh, there you see the Stargates, um, expansion, finishing off Boxer, it, this is game one, so anything can happen, I, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I knew, I knew the ending of this game, but it's okay, you guys didn't, and I tried to keep it neutral, so, um, uh, I don't think I know the ending of this series. I, only, I know the first two games, I think, but that doesn't matter. I mean, who the heck cares anyway? Um, Boxer has set up an expansion, but I'm pretty sure I can get discovered really soon. And uh, Pusan building some zealots and Templar to take care of that. I take care of uh, something, I don't know what. And um, I'm, I'm like, not smart today. And uh, those Kiryu's running around looking for an expansion or something, maybe? I'm not sure why Pusan didn't finish it off like 10 minutes earlier. Maybe he's trying to humiliate Boxer. If he is, he's a fag, because he wants to humiliate Boxer. Because Boxer's awesome. Mm. Carriers, Goliaths, Supply Depots. Boxer looks like he's setting up for one last desperation attack here. Oh! Boxer's covert I did not see that. Boxer's covert off. Oh! But his nuke silo is discovered. And Pusan finds his nuke silo. Oh, and that's terrible. Pusan has found his nuke silo. Oh, poor Boxer. That was his last chance. If you could nuke those carriers, that he would have just won himself away back in this game. But he couldn't, because Pusan found his nuke silo. Bye bye, nuke silo. You did absolutely nothing. And that's ton of zealots to, to take care of his Goliaths. Ton of carriers to take care of any Goliaths that weren't occupied by the zealots. Ton of storm on like two pro. Pusan, learn to storm, you stupid idiot! Seriously, I, I don't care how many, how much you're ahead by. Learn to storm. Okay, so like half of those. And there's GG, weird Korean GG, and uh, GG guys. That was not. Well, I can't. I'm not gonna say anything about that. But um, yeah. So uh, okay. Thanks for listening, guys. This is Regal.